What's up, y'all? It's your girl, Reek and Soul, a.k.a. J. And today, I am going to be baking guayaba and cream cheese pastries. Mmm, it is so good, y'all. So the ingredients that we'll be using today are the puff pastries. It comes with two sheets. So here goes one of them, and the one is right here in front of me. The guayaba paste. So delicious. And along with the cream cheese. You're also going to need two eggs along with a little bristle brush. And of course, you're going to need a cutting board or something that you could cut with. All right, so the guayaba pastries with the cream cheese, what it is, it's um, guayaba fruit that comes from the tropics. It's very sweet, has a sweet taste, and is a thick paste. And then you can use any type of cream cheese if you want to, to be honest. If you want to use pineapple cream cheese, strawberry, is entirely up to you. But I'm going to go ahead and be original and use the regular cream cheese. So first what I'm going to do, guys, is roll out the dough so it could be a little bit thicker. Roll it out. And you don't want to roll it out too much because then it's going to be too flat. Now the next step that I'm going to do is I'm going to cut it into six pieces. So one going across. up and down well actually guys just kidding I made four <clears throat> so four pieces all right now these pieces that you're going to be using um, so the reason why you cut into eight pieces because you're going to go ahead and put one on top of each other all right, then I'm going to cut up the guayaba paste. And I'm gonna cut it up into little pieces, which I'm going to go ahead and show you guys in just a few. So here we go. This is how the guayaba looks when you open it up. Because it's so thick, I'm going to go ahead and use a spatula. I am making about, I'm using both sheets. So it's going to be two, four. I'm making eight. So, went ahead, did this. And I lift it up so I could put it on my cutting board so I could cut it into small pieces. it is all right now the next step is cutting them into little pieces now this is going to be in the oven you want to put this in the oven um, the degrees of 350 and this is fine. This size right here, guys, this is a good size because when it melts, it's going to spread. Or you can cut it up to smaller pieces and know it's still spread. But you don't want to put too much. It's entirely up to you, to be honest. If you want to put a lot or a little bit, but this is perfectly fine, this amount. Since it's thick, I'm going to cut it up into smaller pieces so that way it's not up tall. So like this, guys. And I'm cutting extra pieces for my other um, pastries as well, not just for one. For all two, it tastes good. It's not gonna hurt you or anything like that. All right, so the next step is the pieces that you cut 
into, well, the little pieces that you cut up. And it doesn't have to be perfect. That's how it looks cut up. Placing the guayaba in the middle. And the reason why I'm doing that is because along the edges, I should say, you're going to put egg wash around it. Not too much because you don't want it to end up boiling like you're having scrambled eggs. So just a little bit. I went ahead and cracked both of the eggs in here. So I'm just now mixing it up because it's going to be the um, egg wash that I'll be using for the edges. You don't put nothing in here, no salt, nothing. Just leave it as is, just mix it up. Put that to the side so it's already mixed and whenever I'm ready to use it, I could just use it. All right, so as you can see, I have the guayaba here. Now I'm going to put the cream cheese. Now there's some people, they'll use a teaspoon, two teaspoons. To be honest, when it comes to baking the guayaba and cream cheese pastry, it's honestly to your liking. So if you like a lot of sweetness, you can add a lot of guayaba. If you like cream cheese, you can put a lot because it's all going to spread out. And you just put the cream cheese on top of the guayaba. And you can even put some on the side if you want. It's entirely up to you, to be honest. It's to your liking. There's no right or wrong way doing this on how much guayaba and cream cheese. I just make it enough because I hate going to the bakery, the Spanish bakeries, and they only put a little bit of the guayaba and the cream cheese. I'm like, wow, really? I'm like, I could just make this at home. And boom, now y'all witnessing it. All right, and then if you want, you can spread it out. You really don't have to. But I go, I sometimes spread it out. All right, and now I'm using the egg wash. Just a little bit, guys, along the corners, just a little bit. Because even if you put too much of it, it is going, you're going to have scrambled eggs. Nobody wants that. And you just spread it. So that way, when you put the other pastry in, it sticks to it. And just spread, 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 spread. And again, don't put too much. Next step, the little piece that you cut up, you put it over it. You may have to stretch it out. Because my bottom piece is a little bit bigger. And you make it like a little sandwich. Just make sure it's connected. And press down on it too and spread it out.
Now if you have a little bit of the bottom piece showing, just cut it out. Cut out any excess of the pastry. Put that to the side. Then you also wanna go ahead and puncture three little holes. So one on the top, not all the way through, just the top part. So when it bakes, it's ventilating, one in the middle, and then one towards the bottom. Voila, that is your first guayaba and cream cheese pastry. Now, once I'm done making these other pastries, I am going to show you how to put the topping, which is going to be water, boiling water, and sugar. And you drizzle that on top, but I'll show that to you in a few. I'm going to go ahead and make the rest of these yummy pastries. Guys, stay tuned for the rest of this yummy recipe. Y'all don't wanna miss out, cause it is going to be bomb. I'm telling you, once your family, friends taste these, I'm like, what, did you get these out of break? You're like, no, I did not, I made them. So stay tuned, guys. Now I'm going to show y'all how to put the topping for this yummy pastry. So again, white sugar and boiling hot water. Then you're going to allow the sugar to melt in the water. And I will suggest for that to take place after you're done baking. Make sure your oven is at 350 degrees. And once you know it's fully cooked, it will be nice, golden, and fluffy. It's gonna have that golden exterior fluffiness to it. So I'm going to go ahead and do the rest of these, pop these babies in the oven until it's nice and crispy. I would say after 10 minutes, anywhere between seven to 10 minutes, you wanna check up on your, your pastries. And then from there, you just keep watching it every five minutes. Everyone's oven is different. It could bake differently. So you guys, I would just say keep an eye on it. But for the first seven to 10 minutes, you should be fine, check up on it. If it's still not crispy, leave it in there for another seven to 10 minutes and just keep watching it. And I'll show you how these babies look when it's done. All right, my babies, here we go. So this is going to be the topping of the pastelion. So you're going to go ahead and add three fourths of water and one fourth of white sugar into a pot and just let it boil. Just let it boil until you no longer see the sugar in the bottom. Once that's done, you get the little brush and brush it on top of the guayaba and cream cheese pastry. So that's how it looks now. Let's stir it. So for the first few minutes, you put it on eight so it could start bubbling. Then once you start seeing it bubble, you wanna lower it. And you wanna lower it and put it in between the three and four. And just stir it. And you have to pay attention to this because you do not want to have that burnt taste to it. You should just keep stirring it. 
until you no longer see the sugar. So this is doing pretty well. So now I'm going to go ahead and lower it. Put it in between the two and the three. Once it's nice and hot, put it to the side of it. And that's it. All right, y'all, so the guayaba, it is done. Look how it looks. Mm. It is going to be five. Yeah, I'm telling you. I am telling you. So right now, this is the sugar and water. Got my little brush. I just, just took them out the oven. So now I'm going to put this over them so it has a sweet taste to it, to the exterior. And you just let this sit for a good 10 minutes. And I had these pastries in for 30 minutes. All right, y'all, so there you have it. Guayaba and cream cheese pastries. It was delicious. I just finished eating I think I think I got a crumb on my mouth. My bad, y'all. But it is delish. So like, comment, and subscribe. Share the videos and also click on that notification bell to all instead of personalized so that way you can get all my uploads directly to you. Y'all have a blessed day. Bye, my babies. Take care.